Happy Wednesday, guys. The Lord wanted me to bring this particular scripture to you guys' attention so that you can begin to meditate on this today. This scripture is going to be coming from Psalm 1, and it is referencing verse 1 through 3. It reads, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Now, what, what does this actually mean, okay? Happiness and blessing belong to the individual who delights in a continual meditation or meditates on God's word, continually meditates on God's word. Such meditation is not primarily mental knowledge, but a constant yielding to the will of God. Stability and fruitfulness belong to the individual who focuses continually on obedience. What God is saying here, just like it says in verse three, be planted, be planted by the rivers of water means to continually be planted in God's word, looking for how to be obedient to him. So on the next line, it actually says, being that brings forth its fruit in its season. So what does that mean? When you are living in total obedience to God and you're doing the things that he's called for you to do, you're not doing your own thing. You're staying planted by the rivers of water. Then you are in position to receive the fruits that are supposed to be coming to you in the season that they are supposed to come. They're not delayed because you're outside of the will of God, all right? And it says, whose leaf also shall not wither. When you are staying connected to God, your leaf will not wither. What happens to a leaf when it withers? That means it's dying and that's what happens when it's separated from the source. So when you stay connected to the source, you're staying planted where God wants you to stay planted. You receive the fruits that are due you in the season they're supposed to come and you will begin to prosper the way you should be prospering, not by works like the devil tries to get you to do. So let's take account today. What is it in your life that you know or areas that you know you need to be replanted so that you can be able to receive the fruits when they are due? You can prosper when God desires for you to prosper. Get your gifts. Get your promises. Don't allow anything or anyone to come before that. Okay, guys, let's stay planted. Let's be in position and let's get what's ours.